Hello everyone, my name is Yu Lin Wei from University of Illinois, urbana Champaign. Today, I'm going to present our work, Voice Localization Using Neo by Wall Reflection. This is a joint work with Shen, Daguan, Zhijian, and my advisor, Ramin Roy Chowdhury. Our work focuses on solving the angle of arrival, AOA problem. The problem formulation is simple. If we have a microphone array, how can we estimate the angle in which the signal arrives? This technique is widely adapted in various products like smart speakers, conference microphones, directional antennas, etc. AOA is an important and well-researched problem, so there are many variants. And also many excellent works solving this problem like GCC FET, music, etc. However, AOA is still an open problem under some conditions. In this work, we are solving this problem considering a multi-echo environment. In this talk, I'll first present a new AOA algorithm and later show how it could be used in a voice localization application. Let's first see what makes AOA so challenging. We have a microphone array as the receiver, and we might have different number of sources, either a single source or a larger than one source and each of them might produce one or k more than one echoes. Moreover, the source signals are unknown. And the goal is to separate the received signal and estimate all n times k signal AOAs. Existing solutions have made significant progress. For example, music algorithm can estimate the AOA of many source signals, but it assumes all the signals to be uncorrelated. GCC-FAT algorithm can estimate the direct pass AOA well, quite well, even if there are many echoes, but it can only estimate the line of sight angle of arrival. Our work, VOLOC, targets to estimate all the AOA of the echoes. In other words, we want to model multiple fully correlated echoes. Fully correlated because these echoes are from the same source. To show how we separate the direct path from the refractive path, let's first zoom into how conventional AOA algorithms work and we can find opportunities inside. How can we estimate the AOA using the microphone array? Here we give an example of three microphones and they are separated with the same distance D. When the signal comes from an AOA theta, the left microphone first receives the signal and then the middle after there are 30 seconds. This is because the signal needs to travel an additional distance delta d in order to arrive at the middle microphone. And later, after another delta t seconds, it arrives at the right microphone. We can see that from geometry, the delta t, delta d, and AOA, theta AOA, they are one-to-one -one mapping. So we can just apply a simple correlation to the received signal to find the delta t, and then we can infer the theta AOA. But what if there are many passes from different directions? In this case, each pass will have different angle of arrival and has different delta t. These signal delay are getting mixed, and it's nearly impossible to decouple each delta t from the mixture. So we are introducing our key opportunity. Human speech has many pauses, so we can leverage the time of each pause. As shown in the red circle here, right after the pause, the signal is not polluted by previous echoes because previous window is silence. Let's again zoom into the voice signal. We denote the comment as A, B, C, D, E, F, G in capital, and so on in time domain. So there's no voice before symbol A. Let's say there are three passes from the user to the microphone. Microphone will receive the capital ABC from the direct pass and the lowercase ABC from the refracted pass and uh, the underscore ABC from the third pass comes later. If we plot the received signal on the timeline, we can see that the signal first arrived at the left microphone first and then the middle one after delta t, and then the right one. This slope is decided by the direct path AOA. 
For example, here we can see the signal comes from the left hand side because it arrived at the left microphone earlier. The second pass will arrive later. It's reflected by the wall, so the pass is longer. Denote it as the blue lowercase abc here. Also, we will see a slope of the blue signal here. And the slope is decided by the second pass AOA. In this figure, we can see that the second pass comes from the right hand side. And similarly, we can see how the third pass joins. Here, we can see that before the first blue symbol or the second pass signal joins, the receive signal is only affected by the direct pass or the red signal. So we can use this segment to compute the direct pass angle of arrival. And before the green third pass joins, this segment is only composed of direct pass and the second pass, only the red and blue. So again, we can use this segment to compute the second angle of arrival and so on. So after the pauses in the speech, we see that the direct pass, the second pass, and the third pass joins one after another. So we can solve the AOA one by one. Here, I'm going to introduce our core algorithm, iterative align and cancel IAC algorithm. It takes the receive signal as the input and output the AOA of each pass. Solving the direct pass AOA is easy. This part is same as a conventional AOA algorithm that we just mentioned. With microphone pair IJ, we find the delta T1 delay between the microphones if we find the correct delay. Signals from two microphones will be identical, so we subtract one from another and the residual will be zero. The delay delta T1 and the AOA is a one-to-one -one mapping. So we can just estimate the delta T1 by a correlation and to infer the AOA that minimize the residual. After computing the AOA1, Next, let's see how do we compute the AOA of the second pass. This is much harder because now the microphone recording is the summation of both the direct pass, that is the red signal, and the second pass, which is the blue signal. Let's first assume we know the AOA2. Assume we know the AOA2. Thus, we know the delta T2 and see what we can get. In the first step, we align the microphone signal based on the first AOA, or delta T1. In this case, the red signal will get canceled. And let's see what's the residual. Of course, the residual will be all from the second pass, the blue part. And we can see that now the second pass is shifted by delta T1 plus delta T2. So after subtract, it will, we will get the time domain signal, minus A, minus B, minus C, A minus B, all in lower case and so on as the residual. On the other hand, if we do not align the signal using delta T1, instead we align with delta T2, that is we align using AOA2, then we can cancel the blue pass. The residual in this case, of course, is now the direct pass signals with the same delta T1 plus delta T2 shift. And the final residual vector will be capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D minus A, etc. Seems familiar? If we compare these two residual vectors, we will find that actually this residual array is linearly dependent. We can shift the upper blue signal, multiply it with a scalar alpha, and it will become the lower red signal. The scalar is the amplitude ratio of the direct pass and the second pass. So if we can shift and scale the blue residual, hey, we can cancel the red residual vector. We can claim that we find the correct AOA2 or correct delta T2 in this case. So this concludes our finding. Our job is to just find the three parameters, the delta T2, the time shift, and the pass scale alpha that minimize this cancellation residual. And then we can claim that, okay, this delta T2 is the one we want to find. The objective function is not convex, but quite manageable for the second pass. But what happens if k is larger than two, like the third, the fourth, and the k incoming pass? For the next k pass, we can find the k residual vector similarly, and all the residual vector will still be linearly dependent. So theoretically, IAC, iterative align cancel, can find arbitrary number of passes. 
This slide concludes the core algorithm, the core IAC. First, we find the first pass AOA by align and cancel on the first few samples, where these samples are not polluted by the second pass. Second, when AOA1 is determined, we find the AOA of next pass by solving the three variables, the new AOA, the pass delay delta pk, and the pass scale alpha k, which minimize the final residual of the all k passes. Notice that this problem actually is an overdetermined problem because actually we have n samples, a very large number of samples, but we only have three k variables. K is the number of uh, echoes. With this new AOA algorithm, let's see how this can be useful in a voice localization application. For example, when you say Alexa, turn on a light, you should search the spaces like bedroom, living room, kitchen, and study room. And finally, it knows, ah, you are in the kitchen, so it will turn on only the kitchen side. When you are in the laundry and say, Alexa, add urgent to groceries. Of course, Alexa knows urgent is not a product, so, but because you are in the laundry, it will try to make a guess. Uh, do you mean detergent? These services require the Alexa to know where the user is when she is giving the commands. So our target is like this. Imagine a house where Alexa is using a microphone array and imagine the user is giving a voice command. When the user speaks, the voice arrives over the line of sight pass and the echoes. Volok wants to use these commands to estimate the user's location. Observe that Volok already knows these two AOAs but it's not enough. We also need to know where the wall is, so Vola can use the reverse triangulation to locate the user. But how can we know where the wall is? To find the wall configuration, we run optimization on all the past commands. We model echoes from the wall and solve a minimization function. From the plot, we can see that the wall config converges within just 10 commands. At the end, let's see the Volok implementation and evaluation. Because native Amazon Echo speaker does not provide audio samples, we use a six microphone circular array on a Raspberry Pi to simulate the smart speaker. Comparing with existing algorithms like GCC FAD and MUSIC, Volok can improve the AOA estimate of at least two echoes. And the improvement on the second AOA is substantial. And our system also reports the median localization error of 44 centimeters in different environments, like studio, kitchen, office, etc. To sum up, we propose an iterative align and cancel IAC algorithm to estimate the AOA of every echo. And also, we propose Volok, an indoor user localization system using voice signal as an input. We need a microphone array like Alexa Echo as a receiver, and we use the direct pass and the reflective pass to do the reverse triangulation to localize the user. We can achieve a median error less than 50 centimeters. This concludes my talk, and for technical details and more results, please refer to our paper.